I've always been intrigued by love songs and the way that musicians allow their thoughts and feelings to be heard by the public. It's such a vulnerable position to be in, openly expressing your love and heartbreak for an audience. And I think that's something that takes a lot of guts to do. My name's Alex, and recently I spoke to three singer-songwriters to discuss the link between love and songwriting. I'm Owen Hackett. My name is Devin. I'm Max Bradford. And I'm a singer and songwriter. A musician. And a songwriter. And I'm a singer-songwriter. Writer. Why do you think people write love songs? It's a very deep emotional thing. Like, I feel like it's the deepest of emotions, and it's something that is universally understood. Where it is so common for people to write love songs, people do it because they think it's going to be the most accessible. Like, it's a very human thing to talk about. The best songs are the ones that do feel kind of too uncomfortable and too revealing to yourself sometimes. Someone who writes really good love songs, I think, is Robert Smith, The Cure. He sounds like someone who's definitely been in love. I really like listening to people, you know, like Otis Redding and stuff. You don't need to listen to the words, it's more the feeling of the love song, and I kind of enjoy that more than listening to some cheesy lyrics about how much you love someone. Is it something that kind of helps you express yourself or, or specific emotions at a given time? It's, it's kind of therapeutic, isn't it? Quite often you don't even know you're trying to get something off your chest, and then you just have a little play on your guitar and a little sing, and you, you know you've done a bit of therapy without knowing you needed to do it. Songwriters that I know personally, they write to express themselves or like express emotion that they feel like they can't, you know, express talking to someone. Writing music and playing music on my own is definitely something that I use to express my emotions. I don't have like a an outlet other than talking to people. My boyfriend, we had been together probably about six months or so. I felt like writing a song for him and I did. And I just recorded myself singing it. I'm like, hey, I wrote this. I hope it doesn't suck. And he liked it. So I mean, it didn't suck. I have obviously my talking about the most recent song I've got about my girlfriend. It's, I have performed that with her there and she knows that it's a song about her, but it's not been, she's been in the room or there for the gig, but she hasn't actually she hasn't been the one that I've performed the two, just me and her. I think it would be adorable. The fact that he would take the time to make something for me would be really sweet. You know, even if it's the worst song in the world, you know, he still went <laughs> and took the time to put it together and was brave enough to perform it, you know? There's a fine line between it going sort of very well or being a cringy mess. Oh yeah, definitely don't think I'd ever, you know, perch a girl on the end of my bed and be like, this song's for you. <laughs> As an artist, if you write about heartbreak, when you go to perform it, do you detach it from the emotion and, and does it just become a song? Or is, is, it, is it kind of painful in a sense to perform it? One of my favorite songs I've got is called Secrets. And it's quite obviously a uh, a breakup song sort of thing, dealing with loss, I suppose. That one's one that I kind of feel like I, you know, I'm back in the moment every time I play it kind of thing. I personally would rather not detach myself from it because I feel like feeling how you felt when you wrote that song is what put the emotion into the song in the first place. In terms of heartbreak like, or just had issues in terms of love it's definitely made me think i should write a song about this to try and channel the emotion but when i've found that i've got emotions that i want to talk about i will play music to help me through it but i can't always write music to help me through it there's a sort of strange desire to like put on a playlist and, and get sad <laughs> maybe cry and i don't know what the drive is behind it like when you put on a particular song over and over again and kind of have a little moment to one song you're actually thinking why would you bother kind of torturing yourself? Every time I listen to like some of those songs, they just take me straight back to that time and that feeling. You get like a pit in your stomach and you're like, why do I feel bad? That happened to me years ago. You know, you find that song that's speaking exactly what you're feeling and you'd be like, hey, I'm not the only one that feels like death. It's a weird <laughs> thing. It's like you need that time to sort of mope and, and yeah. relate to the songs, I guess. And it seems that it's a popular thing people do. I still don't really know why. 